There have been late nights when I wondered about it all. Nights where the illumination of stars and street lamps beckoned me to consider the world of daylight. Visions of manicured lawns, houses in rows, traffic that seemed endless, punctuated by static office buildings. Ordinary worldliness was enveloped by peculiarity. Who are we? What are any of us doing here? All of this led to the finality of a single question. What if you had all the answers you were searching for? I can be certain that we are all seeking something. After all, is that not what it means to be human? I hope you still remember me. I know it's been a while since my last video. Anyhow, before I get into this one, please give it a like and subscribe. Curiosity is intrinsic to who we are. Although, I question whether we genuinely want to receive the answers that we search for. What if you knew life in its entirety? That seems like something that would be superficially appealing, but the reality of it is a bit, is more complicated. For centuries, human beings have contemplated existence and Perhaps the bittersweet consolation in doing so is knowing that our questions remain questions. We can probe at the most terrifying parts of existence, like death, meaning, or lack thereof. Meanwhile, the day continues forward. All that brings us joy and pain shall continue into tomorrow. So even, even after you've found all of the answers, you still be left with this world. I suspect that people who are inclined to philosophize, myself included, are attached to the questions that they ask. And the beauty of a question is that it frames a doorway that offers an escape to something more. However, in pursuit of something more, we tend to trivialize the the extraordinary, I, I suppose the extraordinarily ordinary happenings that fill daily life. In other words, we forget the beauty of the spaces outside of the question. The task is not so much to see what no one else has yet seen, but to think what nobody has yet thought about that which everybody sees. When we view this world through the lens of a question, then we neglect befriending the world. If we imagine that existence were a person, could we know them from their name or their background? Is it possible that the mechanism which constructed our questions is not the same mechanism that can resolve them? Reason has led us to the door of the knowledge that we seek, but it does not have the key. Questions offer a way to familiarize yourself with someone, but as you probably know, you don't really learn much about someone through, I guess, an interview process. You'd have to observe them, you'd have to listen to them, and perhaps most importantly, you'd have to accept them. Whether it's the world or a person, any particular entity, you cannot fit them into your view of them. You can only be prepared to understand something if you approach it with the right tools. Perhaps philosophy, this sort of rational, critical, logical examination of existence, I wonder if perhaps that's not the right tool to uncover what we really want to know. The rationality that was relied upon to create the problems will never give us the answers. And so perhaps, perhaps the solution that we're looking for involves surrendering the problem maker, allowing reason to rest. When the answers cannot be put into words, neither can the question be put into words. The riddle does not exist. If a question can be framed at all, it is also possible to answer it. Over-examination of life strips you of the life you're examining. There is no answer sufficient to explain the universe. It's, it's almost as if existence only answers to itself, and in doing so, it's telling you that you are here confide in that miracle for a moment, I think it's more beautiful than any question you could ever ask. You are here. I think miracles don't have to be impossible events. I think miracles are the, the mundane, everyday phenomena that we've just 
stopped paying attention to. Have you grown weary of the patience of the first and last light that guides this world from one season to the next? Do you think the birds who pierce the darkness with their song are a problem? They are life and they are being. You are a part of life and you are a part of that same being. We are participants of something grander than our own scrutiny and I invite you to discover with an open mind and an open heart what that grand something entails. Over the years, my my philosophical inquiries have sort of felt like running around in circles and I'm assuming I'm not alone in that philosophy takes a serious approach to examination, but after a while I sort of concluded that something can't be that serious if it leads nowhere. In fact, that makes it seem like more of a game than anything. If you question the nature of this world, you will soon realize this world is not exactly as it seems on the surface. Beyond this, reason seems to supply no further insight. Existence is unreasonable and it hosts all of its unreasonable companions. I've come to the conclusion that I am no more intelligent than the world that holds me in place. You have to be a little egoic to assume that you're clever enough, smart enough to figure out this great big enigmatic world. I don't greet each day anymore assuming that I know anything about it. Instead, I've, instead I'd like to learn from the world. And learning for me has meant putting away the books and sort of walking the path that calls to me. Learning for the joy of learning has shown me that I don't think any of us are here to prove a point or to construct a thesis. I think we're here to explore and conversate with our surroundings as opposed to scrutinizing and questioning those surroundings. Perhaps the universe is a riddle that enjoys watching us stumble over the puzzles of existence. Or perhaps the universe is waiting for us to realize the riddles are our own and not hers. I don't want to say it's rare to find deep thinkers, but I will say philosophy doesn't make for good small talk. So please consider joining me on Patreon where I have the link to my Discord and we can continue creating a community of people who like to think deeply about the world.